Now I want you to remember the no bastard of a world war by dying for his country. You won it by making the other poor dumb bastard die for his country. Men, all this stuff you've heard about America not wanting to fight when it's the end of the war is a lot of horse down. Americans traditionally love to fight. All real Americans love the sting of battle. When you were kids, you all admired the champion marble shooter, the fastest runner, the big league ball players, the toughest boxers. Americans love a winner and will not tolerate a loser. Americans play to win all the time. I wouldn't give a hoot in hell for a man who lost and laughed. That's why Americans have never lost and never will lose a war. Because the very thought of losing is hateful to Americans. Now, an army is a team. It lives, eats, sleeps, fights, shits as a team. This individuality stuff is a bunch of crap. The biggest bastards that wrote that stuff about individuality for the Saturday Evening Post don't know anything more about a real battle than they do about fornicating. Now we have the finest food and equipment, the best spirit, and the best men in the world. You know, my God, I actually pity those poor dumb bastards we are up against. My God, I do. We're not just going to shoot the bastards. We're going to cut out their living guts and use them to grease the train with our tanks. We're going to murder those lousy dumb bastards by the bushel. Now some of you boys, I know, are wondering whether or not you'll chicken out in the fire. Don't worry about it. I can assure you that you all do your duty. The Nazis are the enemy. Wade into them. Spill their blood. Shoot them in the belly. And you put your hand in a bunch of goo that a moment before was your best friend's face, you'll know what to do. Now there's another thing I want you to remember. I don't want to get any messages saying we're holding our position. We're not holding anything. We let the Hun do that. We're advancing constantly, and we're not interested in holding on anything except the enemy. We're going to hold on to them by the nose, and we're going to kick him in the ass. We're going to kick the living hell out of him all the time. And we're going to go through him like crap for a goose. Now, there's one thing you men will be able to say when you get back home, and you may thank God for it. Thirty years from now, when you're sitting around your fireside with your grandson on your knee, and he asks you what you do in the Great World War II, you don't have to say, well, I shoveled shit in Louisiana. All right now, you sons of bitches, you know how I feel. I'm proud to lead you wonderful guys in the battle anytime, anywhere. That is all.